Hello everyone, welcome back again with me on Third Kunago channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to torque analyze in screwdriver like this. And without wasting time, let's start it. First step, we will choose the material. Go to screwdriver. Go to edit material. Choose IC1020. Click apply. Close. Go to holder. Go to edit material. Go to plastic. Choose PA high density. Click apply. Close. Let's make this holder color is black. Click holder. Go to appearance. Choose black. Okay. Now we will make torque boundary parameter. Click screwdriver. Click edit part. Go to top plane. Active line. Click this point to this point. Active smart dimension. Click this edge and this line, make this 10 to 11 mm. Go to feature, click split line. Choose this face, OK. See, screwdriver is divided in two parts. Exit edit part Click rebuild Now go to SOLIDWORKS add-ins Active SOLIDWORKS simulation Go to simulation Click new study Choose static analysis Make name project is stored analysis OK We have choose the material And we have global contact parameter Next step is determine fixture parameter Go to fixture Click fix geometry Click this face OK now insert external load. Choose store. Click this face. Click direction parameter. Click this face. Make torque parameter is 10 newton meter. Okay. Now we create a mess. Go to mess. Click create mess. Check mess parameter. Click standard mess. Okay. Wait until done. After messing is done, let's run this simulation. See, simulation is done. Now let's we analyze the simulation. Go to stress, click setting, go to definition, make unit stress is MPA, click true scale, 
go to chart option check show max annotation choose floating make to after comma ok see maximum stress is 447.35 MPA and now let's see material strength change unit to MPA while the real strength skill driver is 351.57 MPA that means the skill driver will break easily because the stress generate exceeds the real strength value now let's see the depressment this area will be max value of the depressment go to the depressment click setting go to definition click true scale go to chart option Check show maximum annotation. Choose floating. Make two after comma. Okay. See, the max displacement value is 1.74 mm. In this area will be easily to destroy. Let's see the animation. I think it's the end of tutorial. I hope you like it and can learn so the work use my video tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.